trap Laura Ross or Ross Lindgren, <laughs> as he's known to the rest of the world that really knows him, is not just some hip hop fan who decided to make documentaries about his favorite rappers. As y'all can see here, he said he was going to use tech to solve the problems in the industry. <laughs> So apparently Remo made a post about the Jacksonville situation. And, and in that post, it was a news clip. Well, I guess Ross saw that his information from his blog had been used in the news clip. So he wanted to come to the Internet and tell us that I've been telling y'all this dude knows that the feds are using. And, and this is where snitching and telling and all of that stuff gets confused because people say, oh, well, you're not a gang member, so you can't snitch. You a civilian, so you can't be a snitch. You telling on them. You telling on them. However you put it, you telling on them. And I think that should be the angle. Like, don't come and just, man, just come on out and say, look, man, I, I work with analytics and metrics. I wanted to do an experiment and see if I put out this much information what kind of numbers it would bring in, how the analytics would be, but I also want to see how people would respond to it. It's a social experiment as well as a collection of data, the numbers that he needs to further his business. Now he can go show analytics and metrics and say, hey, look, when you put this type of stuff out and you use this type of lights and people think you're like this and they have this type of backstory, this is what comes of that. I'm telling y'all, it's right here in our face. But he went to the internet and said, hey, the feds use my stuff like he's happy about it. And that's what I don't want y'all to misunderstand. I ain't again. I'm not wishing no harm on him or nothing, but I want y'all to see his true intentions. He is in this. So the feds can use his information and he can become etched into these cases in this hip hop history. Now, every time they talk about hip hop and they talk about Julio Fulio and they're going to talk about Trap Lord Ross because he is gathering the information that the fed is using okay the information may already be out there but who's to say they would have found it you could say oh the feds can do it's not about what they can do it's about what they will do and what they would have done we can't say that we can't say that the feds would have clicked on that specific comment that he clicked on or you know that thread we can't say that bro but we can say for certain that instead of them having to do that they went and just looked at his videos and, and, and sorted through it and decided what they wanted to use and what they didn't. The downside to that for Trap Lord Ross is now he kind of end up in a situation like Vlad, right? Like, you know how Vlad be trying to like, oh, well, they say basically I, I essentially solved the Tupac case. And they like, nah, hell nah, nigga. Keefe D told on himself. That's the kind of situation that... Um, Trap Lord Ross is going to find himself in when he try. Oh, well, the feds use my information. When he dropped that video, his comments was just full of people like, oh, you the feds, you the feds, you the feds. That's the response and the reaction he going to get instead of people being like, oh, man, that's crazy. That's great, bro. That's like that's what he's looking for. But that's not what he going to get, because, again, this hip hop. It's wild, bro. You never know what you're going to get. So I'm pretty sure that's throwing his data off a little bit. But uh, <laughs> that's what he's after, bro. And uh, on the personal side, but on the financial side, he winning because he's he's basically using all manpower, you know, the basic necessities of the Internet and stuff to put this together. So it's a little overhead. You know what I'm saying? He sit down, he put this together and then he generating enough to go back and invest hundreds of thousands and, and millions of dollars into other businesses that he got going on over there, tech companies and all of that stuff. So it's like it's 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 some crazy dynamics to this. But just like he gathers his public information and create a theory, I've gathered mine and I've created a theory. And I really firmly truly believe, in my opinion, that Ross knows that the feds are using these videos. And he knows that the feds just use his videos in this little Dirk situation. And that's why he popped out and named a song, What Would Vine Do, two days after Dirk went to jail. Like, it's right in your face. It's right in the same way he say these rappers, oh, as soon as they, as soon as they uh, do something to somebody, they go make a tweet. As soon as he knows his work has done something, he pops out. He got to claim it. He didn't want to just pop out and claim it this time because 
Lil Durk got a different type of audience, and they'll turn against you. Like, he got real, his fans love him, you know what I'm saying? So they'll turn against you. So he just did a little subtle trolling where people like, oh, he just trolling. But in my opinion, Trap Lord Ross is most definitely the open source reporting that they referring to in that paperwork. He's so deep down in investigation mode, he investigated himself. He couldn't even wait on nobody to figure out that it was his video and his 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 pictures and stuff that they was using on the news. So he had to go expose it himself. Hey, that's my stuff. I made that. That's from my documentary. <laughs> He get he did like and bro, you ain't been down there in Florida and them boys business, man. You putting people faces on here based off of some rap songs and all of that type of stuff, man. But you documenting them as gang members. That's dangerous, bro. All just so you can collect some data and so you can, you know, um further your cause that you trying to further over in the UK. But I'm out, y'all. Be on the lookout for my trap, Lord Ross Exposed, part two. Part two is on the way. This was just a little intermission right here. I just saw this and I decided to come bring this to y'all this AM. But, yeah, stay tuned.